Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another week of grocery haul videos. We are actually in my nook area right now. Uh, my dining room table is, of course, the catch-all table right now for a work project, and I've got a crock pot going on my kitchen island, so we're just going to have to deal with recording in here on the round table for today. So this is a combination of actually three separate Brookshire's transactions. Uh, I'll explain that as we go. So potatoes were on sale this week for the five pound bags for $1.99. That's about the cheapest we've had them in a long time. So I did pick up two of those. Now I do have plenty of the little red potatoes, little gold potatoes and stuff for roasting. I like these more for of course baked potatoes and then making mashed potatoes. So that is why I went ahead and picked up those. So that was part of one transaction. It went with these four packages of goldfish. They were on sale for $1.47, limit of four. So I picked up the limit on those for the kids' lunches. And then I picked up three pork loins that were on clearance. These are on the smaller side. So I would probably make these on a night where daddy's out of town, which he's got, he's actually on a trip right now to San Antonio. He's got another trip this month to Duncan, and he's got another trip this month to Singapore. So we, we always have opportunities um, to eat a smaller dinner, and that's what I would use these for. But this one was $2.72. These were 50% off. This one is $2.17, and then this one is $2.32. So we'll save those for either nights when the kids are out and me and Daddy are eating dinner by ourselves, or we will use them again when he is out of town. So that was one purchase. I had scanned five boxes of Cosmic Brownies with it because Little Debbie products were on sale this week, but they didn't take off the discount. Well, the girl came over, she was super helpful and explained that even though it says Little Debbie, it's only the fall Little Debbie products. So we just took that off. I paid for those items and then I went back. She told me where they had the fall ones because they weren't with the normal Little Debbie products. And so I went back and picked up five boxes of the brownie pumpkins for the kids. They love Little Debbie brownies and we don't buy them a lot because they are super expensive now. I believe they're $2.79 a box now. They were on sale for $1.79 a box. So I did pick up five of those. Then on my way home, I stopped at the other Brookshire's. It's on my way home. I picked up two bags of these little, they call them golden rolls. And I really like these to cut in half to do tuna fish sandwiches on. So I'll freeze them in baggies of like four and just pull them out like four at a time. So I got two baggies of those. They were on clearance, 50% off for $2. And then I got these Kaiser buns, 50% off, paid $2.25. I thought these would be fun for some of the rest of those uh, free hamburger patties that I was given in my neighborhood. We need to finish using those up. So I will probably lay down six of those one day for lunch and just knock out a few more of those hamburger patties. So that is all we bought so far. Stick around in this video. We've got Kroger and Tom Thumb coming up this weekend. And then we will, of course, go over the totals. So that's it for today, guys. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this is the second part of our grocery haul for this week. I'll actually be doing a little shopping uh, here in just a little while today. So there will at least be a third part to this video before we get to the totals. Um, this all came from Kroger. This is a pretty good stock up haul. And I do want to immediately kind of go over the receipt on this one with you, just because um, this is probably one of the best deals I've got in quite a long time as far as groceries go. And so I was really excited about this haul. So we'll start over here. Milk was on sale again for 99 cents. You could get the chocolate or the white. So I got three chocolate and two just regular whole milk. I picked up bananas and apples. I keep buying green apples wanting to make tuna fish because that's how I like them is with green apple in it. And my daughter always eats the green apples, so I'm hoping I can get uh, some tuna fish made before she finds out I bought more green apples. I got one thing of bread for sandwiches for this week. Baking season is quickly approaching, and so Toll House, uh, Nestle Toll House chips were on sale this week, $1.99 limit of five. I can't remember when we used to get these for 99 cents, but that just ain't happening anymore. And so I did pick up the limit of five on those. I got two of the milk chocolate and three of the semi-sweet. Coffee creamer was on sale again this week, two for six. And then I bought it was giving back 50 cents a piece, I believe. So I did go ahead and pick up two of the vanilla bean. You saw me get Kahlua last time. So I'm pretty stocked on coffee creamer again for a while. 
Red Baron pizzas were on sale again this week. I picked up the limit of five. Those are just the empty boxes. They're already in the freezers, and we did eat one of those this weekend already. We like, um, the, the family of four can eat one pizza for lunch, generally speaking, uh, because we will normally have, you know, like some veggies or something to go with it. Then we have the Campbell soup. Again, this week it was on, uh, not on clearance, on sale again for 99 cents, limit of five, so I did pick up five more of those. My husband and kids are perfectly fine taking the same lunch every day. I prefer a hot lunch, so the soups will come in handy as the weather continues to get cooler here. I picked up two Mayo and two Miracle Whip. They were on sale and they all had Ibotta rebates on those. So these, um, as you have seen, have gotten really expensive at the store. So these turned out, I believe, to be $1.99 a piece after all said and done with the rebates. And so that was a really good deal there. Little Debbie snacks have gotten so high. Um, these used to be like a dollar something a box when we first had kids and now they're up to $2.79 a box. But they were on sale this week. And so I did pick up the limit of five. I got two honey buns, two cosmic brownies, and one fudge round to stock up our snacky area in the pantry. I got three things of the Caladad chips. It is cheese dip season. It is chili season. It is nachos for game day season. So those will not last long around here. Picked up five more Capri Suns. Those were all on sale this week as well. Limit of five. I got five things of Oreos. They were on sale this week with a limit of five which made them about $4 a package cheaper than the normal price. And I had an Ibotta rebate for a dollar a piece back. So I believe I only paid like maybe $1.99 a piece for those. I had a free package of cheese. So I picked up the provolone. I'm going to throw this in the freezer and then I'll pull it out when I want to make French dip sandwiches. And then Kraft cheese was on sale for $1.99 as long as you bought five or more. And I had a... I bought a rebate on the Parmesan ones. So I got two of this deliciously paired pizza. I hadn't seen that one before. Two of the Parmesan ones, which I did get the I bought a rebate, so 50 cents a piece back on that, and one Italian. Pretty stocked up on the Mexican type cheeses. Uh, so these were more what I didn't have in the fridge. So that is everything I got. Let me grab my receipt and we'll go over the totals on this part of the haul. Okay, I had to grab my receipt because I wanted to tell you the exact totals here. Before store coupons, sales prices, you know, plugging in your membership number to get all of your discounts, this was $246 worth of food. Now remember, there's more milk in the fridge than that. But $246 just for this stuff. After my coupons in the store, the sales in the store, my Ibotta rebates and my Fetch rebates, I only spent $86.86 out of pocket on all of this. Now, was everything on the table necessary? Absolutely not. But these are the weeks where the stock up is just too good to pass up. Now, I know there's a lot of snacky stuff here. There's Little Debbie, there's Nestle Toll House, there's Oreos right? Lots of snacky stuff, but we are going into winter season. We're going to be inside more. I'm going to be baking more. What I like to do with baking stuff is I bake eight cookies at a time and I do it on a Saturday or a Sunday and my kids know that means it's family game day. Mom made eight cookies. There's two a piece. We sit down, we eat hot cookies, and we play board games. These things will go in lunches sporadically throughout the winter season just as little treats for the kids. And then the Oreos, we like to do a family Oreo, what we call Oreo party or Oreo night, where for dessert, everybody gets, you know, like five or six Oreos and a cup of milk. And we sit around and we talk. We talk about our day, we talk about our week, and we have Oreos. So it's just another family bonding thing that we like to do. So we're going into that season where we're gonna be inside more and we're gonna be playing more games. We're gonna be hanging out together more. So. Those type of things will come in handy. So that's it for this one. I will see you later today with the next part of the grocery haul. All right, I am back as promised with the next part of the grocery haul. And I guarantee you there's going to be one more after this. So I did go to Tom Thumb today. They were unfortunately out of the sales deals that I wanted to get. It is Monday, but that was the first chance I had to get over that way. So we will not be getting the deals at Tom Thumb this week. And that's okay. So this is Sam's Club. And one thing from Target, um, I'll explain that in just a minute. 
So at Sam's, we didn't need a whole lot this week, just a few things. Axton has French toast pretty much every morning. And so I'm quickly running out of syrup. So I needed to get some more syrup for him. And it's still cheaper to get it at Sam's. I went ahead and picked up one thing of extra virgin olive oil. I use a lot of olive oil in cooking. And you've heard me say, I don't panic buy when people say like, what's going to be running low for fall or winter or anything like that. But there are a lot of reports about olive oil being in low supply and the prices are going to go up. And I use a lot of olive oil in this house. So I decided I'm there. It's a good price. Let's just go ahead and get one. I got this Kindred Wing Sauce Buttery Buffalo to try. We like to dip chicken in it just here on the side for me and my husband. They have these little Cascade Pack sample things in the machine. I think you were only supposed to get one, but it gave me two. So that's actually six dishwasher tabs, and that'll do six loads of dishes. So that's pretty cool for free. I got one package of plates. These are $10.98. I know we don't have to use paper plates. I know that's a luxury. But sometimes with things like reheating leftovers or having burgers on the grill or pizza night, I just want to have paper plates. It's so much more convenient. I got one more thing of Rotel because we're flying through that pretty fast. So I figured we're here. Let's just get it. More cheese sticks. They've got one left from the last pack. So I went ahead and got those. Now you saw me buy honey ham last week. My son doesn't like the round honey ham. He said it does not taste good. My daughter and my husband like it just fine. But I let Axton pick what he wanted at Sam's. And he still wanted ham. He wanted the square ham. So, okay. Square ham for Axton. Round ham for everybody else. Not a problem. That's everything I got at Sam's. The one thing I had picked up at Target yesterday is a package of hamburger buns. We were going to do burgers last night. But the meat didn't thaw out in time. So, we are doing burgers tonight. These were $1.19 at Target. So, that is everything so far. I'll be back. We're going to have at least one more grocery haul this week. All right, everyone, uh, this is the wrap up of grocery hauls for week two here at This Family Life. And so I did have one more small grocery haul. I did not film it for you. I picked up lettuce for $1.79 and tomatoes for $2.99 at Target. Not the cheapest place in my area to get those kind of things, but we were grilling burgers and my parents were here and my mom loves lettuce and tomato on a burger. And so we just went ahead and picked up those things. So to recap for the week, we had buns, lettuce, tomato, all from Target. We had the rather large Kroger grocery haul that we got all the discounts on, which was awesome. Uh, Brookshire's, we had three small hauls, uh, $6.25, $8.85, $16.57. So that was basically all the normal groceries for the week, over my $50, but again, really great stock up deals, happy about that. Then we had Sam's Club, it was a total of $65.37. 10.98 of that went to household items and 54.39 went to grocery. So where did that kind of put us for the week? Uh, household 10.98, grocery 179.69. That includes the Sam's Club stuff. So we were at about 125 total without the Sam's Club. So over, <laughs> that's where it put us was over. But um, honestly, the Kroger deal, with getting $10 off of a $100 purchase, plus all of the I bought a deals, plus the really good sales that they had going on, it was worth the stock up there. Um, you kind of right now have to take the good deals where you can find them. That's how I feel about it anyway. So where are we at for the month of October? So we're basically halfway through. Um, there are five weeks technically, I guess you could count it as five weeks in October, but the last one, I'm gonna be at marching band competition in San Antonio. And so I won't be back until November grocery shop for that. So um, technically four weeks for me, halfway through, right? So for the month for household, we are sitting at $22.65 spent. Yay. We have $77.35 left in our household budget. Again, whatever doesn't get spent in the household budget moves over to the grocery budget. So that's how it works in our house and vice versa. If we didn't spend all the grocery, we can move it over into household. So for grocery, we've spent a total of $259.92 out of our $341 budget, which leaves us with $81.08 left for the next two weeks. So technically, in order to stay in my overall monthly budget, <laughs> as groceries stand right now, let's just pretend I had to spend household on household. I have about 40 
$8.54 a week to go on groceries. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I have looked at the ads for this week. I can honestly tell you I'm not that impressed. H-E-B does not have any good deals, which is typical for my area. Aldi doesn't really have good sales in my area either. And the Brookshire's ad is garbage this week. They're doing one of their buy one, get one for a penny deals. Those are never good deals every time I look them up. I know occasionally you'll find a great deal buried in there, but I'm not gonna take the time to go through every single item, look up all of the prices, see what it would cost me for two if I wouldn't get one for a penny, and then going in and um, comparing that price to other stores. It's just not worth it to me. On the weeks when they do the buy one, get one for a penny, I just skip it. Because like I've told you before, every time I've went in and looked at the actual items I was going to buy, I find them cheaper somewhere else. I can still get the two cheaper than the buy one, get one for a penny. There we go. And the loss leader items at Brookshire's, which are normally really good, are not this week. There's nothing I need there. So there are some items I want to get at Kroger and there are some items I want to get at Tom Thumb. Now the problem with that is Tom Thumb is quite a ways away from me. It is closer to my Sam's Club. I'm not going to Sam's this week, so I don't know for sure that I will go to Tom Thumb either. To be determined. Okay, so I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you'll stick around. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Please subscribe. We are up to 510 subscribers, which is awesome. We've hit the 500 mark. As some of you may or may not know, uh, YouTube has changed some of their monetization policy stuff so you can start doing a lot more at 500 subscribers but you have to have 3,000 hours of watch time and right now I have about 2,100 hours averaged out uh, watch time so just need to get those watch numbers up just a little bit more and then we will be able to start doing like live feeds and I think the live feeds would be more fun for like cooking videos and clean with me or a day with me type of videos because I can talk to you while I'm cooking and I think that would be a lot of fun. Or like the videos where my mom and I sit down and we can actually answer your questions and we can interact with you. And I think that would be a lot more fun than just putting out videos responding to your questions. I think it'd be a lot more fun to have a live feed format where we can get your questions live and we can answer them to you live. So I think that would be a lot of fun. So there we go. Uh, my parents sign on their house in Texas tomorrow and they get to start moving in Monday. So I'm super excited. They're going to be 20 minutes from me. So I'm super excited because the first place they were looking at was like almost triple that time away from me. So I'm super happy that they found something close. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next grocery haul video. Bye.